Exciting times for the New York Red Bulls with the announcement of Gerhard Struber named as the head coach. And the coach is good enough to give us time in his first official appearance. Uh, I'm sure it's been a very busy time. Anytime there's a move like this made, a coaching change, you're in one place, the team is in another. I'm sure I'm sure it's been a, a couple of days of mixed emotions for you. Yes, absolutely. Um, big emotion uh, for the new big task for my chest and also the last uh, – a um, uh, couple of days or the last uh, few weeks was uh, not easy to find um, yeah, the, the right decision. But uh, it's, a, it's a big club here in, um, in New York. It's a big club in the MLS. And uh, for me, it's a big challenge. Uh, and I think I have a big, big motivation uh, to work uh, with this club, to be a part in this club. And uh, yeah, this is the situation. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's not easy to wait, but uh, I hope... Um, the situation with the visa go very quick and uh, and I can uh, can start my my time in in New York what was it that led you to feel like New York would be a good spot for you yeah I think um, I can remember my time in the in Red Bull and uh, I don't forget the time uh, when you work in the Red Bull world and also in the Red Bull New York you have a special level uh, you have uh, ambition goals and this is for me the biggest trigger in my in my future in my near future that I work uh, with uh, with people around me that have uh, the same goals like like me, yeah, and um, I I know the the resources, the the standards in the Red Bull world, and uh, and especially um, I can remember the time with uh, New York uh, Red Bulls. Uh, they win, uh, they won the 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 conference, and I think uh, this is three times. I think so, yeah, and uh, and this is also uh, yeah my connecting in the future, yeah, that uh, we have uh, much success in the next uh, few years, and uh, and I hope uh, that uh, we can um, also win the supporter shield in the next uh, few years. I think this is uh, for me. Yeah, uh, I hope for the whole team, yeah, for the whole club, um, a big goal, and uh, yeah, and this is what me uh, motivated for for my decision uh, to move to New York. Coach, yesterday, Kevin Thelwell spoke to the media here uh, in the United States, and he talked about you as a manager really having the qualities that he feels like fits the Red Bull system. Number one, uh, I want to start with just your idea of that pressing system and the, and the tactics that you feel like you can bring um, from Europe here to now the United States. Yeah, I think I I had a big education the last uh, few years, um, especially um, with the Red Bull style of play. Um, I think the proactive uh, playing style, everyone knows that. Uh, especially pressing is a big part in this uh, um, in this game that you have in the end uh, success, and it's the big key to win games. And also that we have in all four phases uh, in a game, we have good answers. Yeah, and I think uh, on the ball. Uh, uh, um, we have also a good plan and uh, we need uh, a good positioning. We need, in the end, players. They understand football in all four phases. And especially the most important thing is uh, that we have players in our group. They are ready for um, for pressing. They are ready for sprints. They are ready to work together. And this is, uh, for me, the most important thing that we have success. Uh, we work together very close. Uh, and teamwork is not only a headline. It, I will see that every training and you have to work very close together with the right spirit with the right energy and then we need always a smart tactical plan and uh, i think the red bull plan it's very um helpful for that and also um when you have the right players they um can bring uh, the right performance in this um, uh, frame then uh, you have success and you have the end uh, always the right results Coach, one of the other things that Kevin Thelwell spoke of as the head of sport for this New York Red Bull team was your, um, I'll say, connection to developing young players. Certainly that has been something that Red Bull as a whole, whether it is Leipzig or the team in Brazil or now uh, in New York, certainly puts a strong emphasis on. And you have those connections. You came up, as you said, through Red Bull Salzburg, coaching their different youth teams. That's where you finished as a player as well. Um, so, so you have seen it on so many different levels. What is it for you that makes it attractive to coach young players that are still on their way up? Yeah, I think um, in my style to play football is always um... – 
normal that you have uh, in the end also a development uh, for players yeah? and young players they uh, learn very quick they are ready to learn and uh, uh, to learn um, things what is necessary in this uh, in in this philosophy yeah? in this uh, style of play we need from the one side the young players with uh, um, with the big heart to learn and also with smart uh, decisions. But I need also experience in the team. And I think when we have a good mix of that, uh, we are ready for good results. We are ready for good performances and ready for um, attractive football. Yeah? And I think this is what uh, the supporters will see when they come hopefully very quick in the stadium back, yeah? that we play uh, proactive, we play... Uh, um, yeah, a football. He is very efficiently, and also um, they had a a good feeling for everyone in the stadium, and give the people a good feeling when they go home. And uh, I think this is also football. Yeah, and uh, and uh, and this is my responsibility, like a head coach in um, Red Bull New York, that I bring uh, players. Uh, in a good shape to bring players in a good uh, mood uh, together and also that our our supporters have a good feeling uh, in the stadium and when they go home they speak uh, always friendly about our football this is my my goal from a from a manager standpoint what is it that you know about major league soccer because you know, you've coached, obviously, in Austria. You've coached now in England. Um, what does the European world know and think of Major League Soccer as a whole? I think that what I know from the MLS is uh, I can see in many games uh, a high dynamic, uh, um, uh, especially um, when I see the, the from the tactical side, I think uh, this is what I have a big influence in the next uh, few months. The coach uh, in England or in uh, in Austria, you have a lot of uh, um, good individual players. Uh, this is the same like in uh, in uh, in uh, in the MLS or in New York. But the difference is uh, that we have other rules, uh, other competition rules, and I think. Uh, um, for me, like a coach, I have in the MLS more influence in a game like in England or in Austria. In Austria, always the clubs, they have uh, um, a big budget. They have, in the end, a bigger chance for better results. Uh, and I think the difference, uh, it's... Uh, in the in the league in England or in the in also in Austria, it's uh, not in the you know on the same level like in the MLS. Yeah? I think the rules in the MLS um, give me a better chance uh, for my coaching style, and uh, this is my personal uh, uh, trigger. Um, also, a personal personal trigger to to move uh, in the MLS. I think I have a big influence with my style. When you have spend some time i'm imagining over the course of let's say the last month or so watching the current new york red bulls play um what what have you seen from maybe a player standpoint a tactical standpoint the way that they go after games it's been it's been an up and down season clearly in this year of coronavirus and it's so hard to maybe gauge certain things but what have you seen from the current team right now um i think i i i, I saw a team uh, with a Big motivation. I saw a team. They um, they yeah also have a little uh, not always the luck what you need in a game, especially when you create chances and you cannot use that. Uh, that uh, you have to fight for momentum in these uh, uh, situations. I can see many players. Uh, they are uh, in a very good direction. Also have a little. Uh, not always the luck what you need in a game, especially when you create chances and you cannot use that, uh, that uh, you have to fight for momentum in these uh, uh, situations. We have to work when I come to, to New York, uh, uh, especially in our structure, especially, I think, uh, more in in in, in, in details. Uh, and uh, I, I can feel, I can see a team with... Uh, very good shape, with a very good motivation, with a good mood uh, on the field. And uh, I think uh, yeah, this is uh, the most important thing. And for the tactical um, side, this is my responsibility that the no players knows what, what, I, what I want in a game. Uh, and, uh, but uh, 
I think uh, um, I have a good feeling. I'm looking forward to bring my yeah, experience uh, what, from the tactical side uh, to the players. And then I hope uh, for better results, for constantly better results. Coach, you think of it, your last job with Barnsley, you got thrown in last year uh, in November to a promotion relegation battle. And that is such a big deal in all of football um, w when you are a coach or, or a manager in Europe. What, what did that experience maybe teach you as a manager that you can bring forward? Obviously, you saved Barnsley from being relegated, kept them where they are right now. Um, but, uh, but I'm sure you really learned a lot about yourself during that time because of the, because of the stress of the situation. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, the last uh, few months with Barnsley was um, was a roller coaster. What I learned in the last um, couple of months was um, yeah, that uh, you you need a, a big belief in in the goal yeah? and uh, and always uh, you need a clear clear plan on the field. The championship it's a very tough league. You need in every single game a very good plan, and you need a top energy together. And I think this is always in my style what i will see uh, in every game uh, very very important that we have a big energy a big spirit a big togetherness on the field and also that we have always the right match plan and we speak not in headlines with the boys we speak in the detail and i think uh, this is my learning the last uh, couple of months that it's necessary that the players understand what I want. And this is no different to the MLS. Uh, everyone uh, must understand that we need a big focus, a big concentration in our style. And we need every single player online for the whole game time and not uh, uh, 70 or 80 percent. This is not enough to win games. And I think this is also my big, big responsibility when I when I move, uh, hopefully very quick, uh, to my new team. Uh, that we work uh, very close together with a clear plan. Did Kevin have to sell you more on coming to New York or did you have to sell yourself to Kevin to come to New York? <laughs> I think this was a good balance yeah, between me and Kevin. I think we have very good uh, talks uh, about the team, about uh, the club. And this was for me uh, the most important thing yeah, that I can feel uh, a big motivation in me. Yeah, yeah I'm looking forward uh, to see Kevin and the other um, um, group uh, personally, and then then it's uh, easier for everyone, and uh, and especially uh, to see my players, yeah? and I can work with my players uh, on the field and on the beach. That we have, uh, we can bring uh, our style uh, on the beach, and I can see uh, yeah, the players uh, uh, live um, on the beach. You know, it, it is a little interesting when you think of it. There is an American in Jesse Marsh coaching in Salzburg. There will now be an Austrian coming from Salzburg to coach in New York. Um, I, I am curious to know, do, do you know Jesse Marsh? Have you had any conversations with him about coming here to New York since since he was here as the, as the head coach for years? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think always when I speak with Jesse about uh, Red Bull New York, uh, I can see... Um, the lights in his eyes and uh, he has a big heart for this club and uh, and uh, for me it was necessary to speak with him yeah, and he's also very helpful at the moment for me um, yeah to to come efficiently uh, um, with a good tempo um, in the club and uh, with the right feeling have you been to the United States ever in your travel yeah I was in the United States uh, three times uh, I was uh, um, in my professional time, like a player, I was uh, in Tucson, Arizona, for um, for a training camp, yeah? and uh, and uh, all two times uh, for holidays. And my last time was in New York uh, two days, uh, two years ago. Um, um, yeah, I was in uh, in U2 concert. Uh, I enjoyed the time in New York. I think a brilliant city with uh, amazing signs, and uh, yeah, it's um, I I have good remembers uh, to New York. Coach, let's, uh, let's finish with this one. It's from a personal standpoint. Um, clearly, the supporters and those that follow the team will, will want to know about your successes on the field. But off the field, what does Gerhard Struber like to be involved with? Oh, yeah, I am a family man. Uh, um, I think uh, the whole time going um, thinking football, thinking in, um, uh, in tactical things. And uh, when I have... Um, uh, a time for me, uh, for me, 
then uh, I will uh, use my time with my family. I have two children. Uh, my daughter, she's 18 years old. My son is 11 years old and he plays for Red Bull Salzburg for the under 12 uh, team. And uh, sometimes uh, we visit the game on the weekend with my son when I have time. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I will use always uh, the free time with my, with my family uh, and um, also when I be at home, yeah, I use the time uh, in the garden or in my forest. I love to work in my forest. And uh, this is uh, my special hobby, uh, not more. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to New York, to my new players, to my new club. And, um, and uh, yeah, I have a very, very good feeling. Yeah, and I hope that the supporters come very quick back in the stadium that we have a, a very good atmosphere together and uh, hopefully always uh, the right results what we what we want